Hello, family and friends, and welcome to the Emmanuel Pearlgate Daily Devotional for today. We pray that your spirit will be fed so you will be able to go through the day with Jesus on your mind and the power of the Holy Spirit in your heart. Feel free to visit us at www.epbcsf.com to learn more about us and to virtually worship with us through our virtual video library. Enjoy today's devotional. Week 36, Wednesday. Today's topic, Huggers. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. That's Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 25. A pastor once told me, in both churches that he had pastored, he had been blessed with a designated hugger. These individuals would hug everyone who came to their church. And every Sunday they would look to give me a holy hug. I often noticed their hugs brought smiles to everyone they touched. Even those who found it hard to smile at all. Those holy hugs would break through anyone's bad day showering the fruits of the Spirit to all they touched. Many look at these huggers and can't imagine doing what they do. They might think it kind of odd, but I think these huggers actually get it. They live and walk in the Spirit each day, showing love, peace, joy, and goodness to everyone they meet. Maybe we can learn a lesson from these huggers. Too often we hear more negative comments than positive ones. Maybe we can start changing our family, church, and community if we start walking more in the Spirit. Maybe we need to start hugging a little more. Maybe we need to start with kind words because a kind word or a smile might just change the lives of those around us. Father, help me to stand out. I want people to see you in me every day and to experience the fruit of the Spirit every time they see me. It is in the mighty and the matchless name of my love and Savior, Jesus Christ, that I pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in with us on today. We pray that you enjoy today's devotional and that it will be a blessing on your life. These devotionals are broadcast Monday through Saturday. So remember to tune in for our next devotional. For information, you can contact us at www.epbcsf.com. May God bless you and continue to keep you until next time, be blessed.